Hey guys, it's Will here and welcome back to the channel. Um, tonight I want to talk about my new uh, slow grow campaign that I'm getting involved in and the new army that I'm going to be doing for that. Uh, first want to say sorry if this is coming through a little bit quiet, everyone's asleep, hopefully the mic is uh, countering that, but I'm having to talk quite quietly so I don't wake everyone up. Um, but yeah, so a uh, new slow grow campaign, it's going to be another one of these Taylor 4 Gamers style things that Sam likes to run um, and he's recruited me for it. So it's going to be me, Sam and a couple of other lads. Ollie, who you may have seen in a couple of my tournament videos back in 2016-2017, uh, met him a couple of times in tournaments, and um, Jack, who I'm not sure I've met before yet, but um, like I haven't actually met him since we've arranged this thing, but uh, yeah, um, so he's uh, a mate of Sam's. Um, and yeah, going to do it slightly differently videos wise this time. Um, still going to do videos showcasing my army and I may bat rep the games, may do stills, not quite sure what we're going to do for that yet. But uh, the main focus on this is going to be the army building because that's the really fun bit about these, you know, is uh, seeing an army develop from the first model right up to a big 2000 point collection. And uh, yeah, it's um, going to be slightly different structure on the growth this time. We're starting with 500 points in the first month. And although that's a fairly small game, that's a big chunk of models to do, especially with the faction I'm going to be running. Um, and then going up by 250 points a month. So although it's a very heavy first month, um, the first month is actually going to be six weeks because of when we could arrange it. So that's kind of helped us to uh, to get it all done. And then, uh, yeah, just easy steps to 250 points after that, um, with uh, points being awarded for um, adding units, the quality of the paint job on those units, and also the results of your games. But to be honest, the uh, sort of the competitive point scoring side of it is really just a secondary thing compared to just uh, you know keeping us all uh, all focused in on building our new armies and having a having a great time. So uh, yeah, um, what's the plan for this? Well, I hadn't really been wanting to start a new army. But I had been wanting to add a faction to one of my existing armies, and if you saw my um, my recent channel update, you'll know what army I'm already doing. It's going to be Bad Moon Orcs. So uh, yeah, I already have well over three thousand points of Evil Sons, but with the um, the new Orc Codex, it uh, um, really has a a lot of emphasis on the clans, which I think is a good thing, and it means that running a mixed clan army can be really the best option because certain units benefit much more from certain clan traits. So I wanted to add some bad moons to the force, um, and I was originally thinking um, just you know doing a, a detachment, you know, but the ideas for oh I could do this or I could do that it kind of has spawned into yeah I could actually do a whole army of these, and you know there's a lot of units that fit the bad moon fluff that. I've really wanted to use in terms of, um, you know, really wanting to try the model out, like the Gorkanor and the Mech Guns. And there's also some units that are going to be really strong additions to my army. Um, tank Busters, Looters, Shooter Boys. Obviously, I already run Shooter Boys and uh, Tank Busters, but they benefit more from being Bad Moons. And Looters are just a brilliant in bad moons so there's uh there's kind of the fluffy fun want to build that model element but there's also the yeah this is going to be a really strong addition to my army so the idea is over the course of the next seven months going to be building a 2000 point fluffy bad moon army but elements of that army i can take mix in with my evil sons and build a truly competitive orc army combining the two factions together so uh, yeah it's a it's a bit of a design brief you know to have both a uh, a fun army that's then going to join to make a competitive army but i think you know with the orc codex we have now it's really the time to pull it off and in terms of uh, yeah orcs are going to be a challenge to paint uh, that many orcs that many models i i got some experience painting orcs already so I you know I know what I know there are ways I can kind of cut down the paint time a bit on that so uh, yeah I'm gonna go up to 2,000 points and I have a rough list in mind of what I want but it's not set in stone yet but what I have done is worked out my rough 500 point list and I'll show you the first models I got painted but um, just to quickly talk about my list um, for the first month because it's orcs and we have some cheap troops options I've been able to get a battalion list together 
So yeah, the list plan is going to start off with uh, my Warlord being a big mech with a shock attack gun. Um, and I want to make it that the souped up shocker from the Vigilus book, so it's basically like a two shot, um, or double the number of shots on the shock attack gun. And then, because that means I'm using a dread mob, there's also a stratagem in there that allows him to fire twice. Which means he can fire twice, while one of my other bad moon units uses the bad moon showing off stratagem. So potentially I have two units firing twice, which is pretty cool. And uh, with being a battalion at 500 points, you know, that's that's quite a nice, uh, nice little way to do it. Nice lot of command points there. Then for my second HQ to make that battalion, just going to run a weird boy. Nice, simple, cheap option. Probably run the jump on him um, to move around the next unit, which is going to be 21 shooter boys with a knob and two big shooters. Then filling out my troops with two min units of grots, so just two units of 10. And then squeezing as many tank busters as I can in with the remaining points, which I think is going to be eight, eight tank busters, including the knob. So uh, yeah, quite a nice little list for 500 points. Um, but it is going to be 51 models, which is going to be a lot to paint. Um, I have made a start, but there's, there's still a fair way to go. Um, but yeah, uh, let's take a quick look at what I've got so far. Here we go then. So these are the first 10 orcs I've finished painting for the army. I've um, got quite a lot that are still at the work in progress stage as well, and some that are, are yet to be purchased or yet to be assembled. So uh, kind of working on the a batch production type thing working in batches of five for orcs and ten for grots and uh, yeah come up with uh, what I think is quite a cool scheme for the bad moons so I think this guy probably is the best way to show off the paint scheme so this is one of my first shooter boys as you can see I've got him uh, carrying a stick bomb there um, and I've slightly uh, adjusted the shooter so the skin is the same as I've done for my evil sons so that is Caliban green dry brushed with warp stone glow twice then once with war boss green and then once with a 50 50 mix of scar snick green and a shabti bone then the black is just um, Abaddon black dry brushed very lightly with dawnstone and then the yellow is um, uh, Bad Moon, yeah, no, Avalanche Sunset, and that's then been washed with Seraphim Sepia before relayering up with Avalanche Sunset and Uriel Yellow. Now, if some of those colours sound familiar, that's because apart from the skin, it's basically the scheme I used on my sides of the Emperor. Uh, the big difference being that this army is going to be like 50 models in the first month. The sides of the Emperor. I barely did 50 models over the whole thing. Um, obviously very different uh, level of detail I was putting into those and all the weathering I did on them. So uh, yeah, I'm having to do it fairly quickly, but it seems, you know, for a yellow and black scheme, which in theory should be quite tricky to paint, it's uh, not been too tricky. And I was just using a standard sort of silver palette for the, uh, the majority of the weapons there. Uh, what I have done on some of the weapons, like this guy's um, shooter here, is after I finished off the... Um, um, the metal. I've given it then a wash over with, I think that was either Reichland Flesh Shade or Seraphim Sepia, just to give that kind of gold look on there. And uh, I'm modelling the Tank Buster Bombs on all the Shooter Boys this month, or this time around, with this army, because uh, yeah, it's a free option, so let's actually put something in there to show it. Uh, tank Busters, as ever, are converted from boys. We don't actually buy Tank Busters. It's a horrible, horrible fine cast kit. But they're such a good unit, you just build them from boys and bits, box, bits. So uh, um, there's a few that are just the standard rockets from the boys box set. But uh, I've naturally gone for a few conversions. So this is one of the Scorcher missiles from the... Um, uh, the uh, the orc flyer kit because you never build the uh, anything other than the daca jet or the was bomb blaster really so uh, yeah that's one of the scorcher missiles and that's just a biker arm on there also got a biker torso on this because I wanted to have a few models that kind of stood out like this guy here has got another biker torso on there with the open leather jacket it's quite a, a cool look um, this guy here um, his rocket launcher is actually a shooter but that at the bottom is a spare part I can't even remember what from and the rocket is spares from the um, the Megatrack scrapjet this guy's just got a stick bomb plugged into the end of his shooter this guy's um, got like a scope on the side of his and then that missile on the front to uh, make the rocket launcher is actually if I remember rightly from 
Uh, it's one of the Storm Raven missiles that I had spare from when I built a Horus Heresy Storm Eagle many years ago. Because I never chuck anything away, which always gives me great pile of supplies for conversions. And last of all, the knob. Um, this is obviously from the knobs kit, pretty much stock, except I've taken off the barrel tip of the shooter and replaced it with another rocket from the Mega Knobs kit to uh, give him a rocket. So yeah, got five shooter boys and five um, tank busters done at the moment uh, still got a, a way to go um, although this is all I've finished there's probably at least another 10 models actually 20 models just glancing over at my desk there at some stage of paintedness but uh, yeah still a fair old way to go so I should probably shut up in a minute and get cracking with painting them um, so thanks a lot for watching I'm hoping to do another update video later in the month and then depending on how we end up doing the game either I'll film the game or I'll do a video showing the final month's army uh, what I actually got painted and um, talking about the game as well depending on what happens but yeah hope you guys find this interesting and if you've got any suggestions on units to add to my bad moons um, and I know 25 looters that is definitely happening unless there's a really good reason for it to not happen you know the 25 looters thing is one of the big plans for this army but anything else you think would fit either really well thematically or would be really strong then uh, yeah drop me a comment anyway I'll see you guys again soon bye